Hey, how's it going? I wanted to talk today about the GameStop news, the PSA news that's come out that GameStop will be purchasing graded Pokemon cards, graded eight and up, from you, the, the sellers out there who want to get their graded cards bought and sold. No questions asked, hassle-free is what they've said, is that if you go in and accept their offer, that you will just be able to trade it. It's very interesting news, something that, you know, it's kind of not really unexpected, but it, not expected. I feel like GameStop needed to do something like this and it makes sense for their company. But the question is, and the question everybody has here is, are the employees here, the people who are often online complaining about their jobs and how uh, unfulfilling it is, are they going to be able to do this more high level uh, work involved with buying graded cards from Pokemon? Um, there also is talk in the future of actually buying and selling just raw singles as well and you know when it comes to graded cards it kind of makes more sense that you know when you're buying from PSA PSA has looked at the card they've graded the card they're telling you exactly what the card is so it's very easy to see that hey you're not you're getting exactly what you asked for here but when it comes to raw cards it's a little different right we all have to use our judgment a little differently when we don't have a grading company telling us exactly what this thing should be worth so it's very interesting news I'm um I'm wondering myself how it's going to work out for the company. I think it's a smart decision for them at least to give it a try. Right now in Texas and other states around the country, there's about 200 stores who are doing this initial rollout, trying out this uh, program to see if it works. And then going forward in the next month, they're gonna be rolling it out for the rest of the company. So it's gonna be very interesting to see if they're gonna be able to get their employees up to snuff and uh, doing these purchases of you know $100 cards. The thought here, and I think a lot of people are also having it is what's going to happen when it comes to the employees buying and trading these expensive cards and then also with the sellers coming in in fact i was listening to one um a podcast i guess you'd say or youtubers talking about this and the literal words out of the guy's mouth were how can i take advantage of this and i think that that's those are the thoughts of a lot of a smart individuals right now so i would say smart but maybe not super moral um how are they going to take advantage of this because you have a lot of highly educated highly uh, uh thought out people who are well versed in a market who are going to be doing business with a people with a bunch of people who don't care about the market are uninformed and uneducated about the market and they're going to be buying and trading from those people how many times is someone going to list something incorrectly or put something incorrect out incorrectly? I think it's going to be a field day for a lot of people out there who are going to luck out and get cheap cards or uh, get uh, their cards sold for a higher price than they normally would have. I think there's going to be a lot of people looking to take advantage of this situation. So I think it's a it's a it's interesting. I think it's a good step for GameStop. I think it makes a lot of sense, but at the same time, it is concerning how it's actually gonna work and how um, people are going to be uh, interacting with stores like this. So. There's also been con some concern about LGS is going forward. Our GameStops now around the country going to be in direct competition with your friendly game store? Is that what we have to look out for now? Or is GameStop coming out for uh, our local game stores? I don't think so. I, I think, like I said before, uh, local game stores often require communities and people who care, people who really want to get people together and uh, do these kind of things. And I think it takes a lot more than than your regular 17 year old checked out GameStop employee to be running, you know, Friday Night Magics and things like that. That being said though, there are also test stores around the country for GameStop who actually have been doing Pokemon play and, uh, pay and play events or something like that where it's basically you show up for a new release of pokemon you get your new cards and then you actually play the games so actually there are some game stops out there who are dipping their toes more into the lgs territory so it is very interesting i just don't think they're going to be able to compete on that high a level and i'm sure if they did pull this out they did go all in on the lgs model that they're going to bring people in but i don't think it's going to necessarily uh, 
uh, take away from the LGS is I think the people who are going to be going to GameStops to play probably weren't going to be going to the LGSs to begin with. It's the same thing with the slabs and things like that. I think a lot of the people who are going to be using GameStop are probably people who are already using like eBay. They're not using, they're not going to the LGS. Maybe they're going to the LGS to buy the raw cards, but I wouldn't imagine them doing the business at the LGS selling. If you're, you know, selling your cards in there, uh, getting that trade amount. The only thing that I think this is really going to affect is now that we have this big player in the market, how are prices going to be affected? If, as we're seeing online, it looks like GameStop is buying the PSA graded cards at a pretty high market price, which is people weren't expecting. The whole, you know, it's the the saying that you bring in your, you know, $500 game system uh, to GameStop and they offer you 30 bucks. Like, <laughs> but it doesn't look like that right now. And I think that this is a good tactic from GameStop because I'm sure they're uh, showing the market prices out there, what they intend un intend on buying these crate graded cards for. But going to the future, that's gonna drop. You're gonna see it down at lower levels and then higher levels online. And then, so we can expect that if they're taking these cards and then taking them out of the market and then putting them in at the market at higher prices, I think that should probably raise the prices for a lot of cards on like eBay because you're taking a lot of cards out of that system, lowering supply, and then you're gonna have a bunch of people on there with a, and then you're lowering the supply and then putting it up on a higher price at another market is what I imagine. We'll have to see like what how actually GameStop works. If they're actually just getting in things and getting them out, uh, buying high, selling low, it'll be really interesting to see how that works with the market. I, I think that is, it is also interesting how that changes like liquidity, how it changes like how quick you can sell these cards. If I can just walk to my GameStop down the street and get it sold at a 70, 80% market value, that's pretty good instead of having to ship it and worry about all the bullshit that you have to do with selling stuff on eBay. It adds a lot of int intricacies into the market and have also having a physical place where you can go get your stuff sold hassle-free is gonna be a big deal for everybody. So very interesting times, very interesting to see what's gonna happen. What I think the, uh, the key bullet points here is I don't think LGS, LGSs have a lot to worry about here. I think that uh, they're gonna be fine. I think that um, this is good for the market overall. I think it, um, having the extra liquidity and then also having an another marketplace that may be uh, inputting uh, slabs at a higher price is probably good for the market. And then uh, um, the only real question I has, have has is how is this gonna be implemented by the GameStop employees? That's the biggest question. You know, everyone talks about with, um, you know, great, well, not graded games, but uh, uh, video game collections that get sold to games. GameStop that employees are taking out the best games and selling them themselves. Like, what's that going to be like here? Is it are the, the same rumors going to be flying around for Pokemon graded cards? I assure you that they they will be for sure. There's so many GameStops around the, the country that you can imagine how many people are just thinking or how they're going to interact with the system. It's going to be very, very interesting. So anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think about GameStop buying and selling PSA? graded cards what do you think about them taking over for lgs's it's very interesting anyways i want to say thank you to my patrons got a patron video out uh there for you earlier today i hope you enjoyed it and then uh, i want to say thank you to my subscribers i appreciate everybody who subscribes getting me closer to a thousand subs that's a a big deal i'm trying to get there before the end of the year that's my goal so um and then also thank you for just watching this i appreciate that as well so i hope you all have a great day okay and i'll talk to you later okay bye Governor Jesse Ventura, to send you, Devin, a little bit of a message, my friend. You need to quit slacking. You, I heard lately, have been skipping your workouts. What's going on, my man? You want to turn into a little fat porker? <laughs> <laughs>